When you're working in After Effects, particularly when you start working with more advanced types of um, animations like particle systems, then you're starting to do more complex operations as far as After Effects is concerned. Particle effects are a good example of um, an effect or a technique that uses a lot of computation and mathematics um, spread over hundreds or even thousands of particles as it plays through the timeline. So what you will have probably noticed at this stage, compared to the earlier stuff that you've done in After Effects, the rendering time is much slower. That's just because there's a lot more going on behind the scenes. Now, what you probably have also noticed is that you have the ability now to take one type of an effect like a particle system and do something like um, mapping that onto a computer monitor to do a motion track. So you're kind of creating composite effect upon effect upon effect. Now, if you think about that, what you're doing is you're, you're multiplying or adding the complexity of what's going on behind the scenes each time you map a particle system, for example, onto uh, something like the, the uh, monitor. So this is a, a good example of an effect motion tracking. Now let's say we wanted to map our particle system onto this. Now I'm not going to actually go through the whole effect, but if I wanted to bring this onto the, the monitor now and just use the, the actual uh, composition then the composition that's being placed on the timeline has to do all of that computation and get mapped to an object and the whole thing has to render so this is when you start using what are called proxies now what a proxy is is a replacement for that composition the way a proxy works is that you select whatever um, layer or composition that you want to uh, reuse in another effect. In this case, it's foam. And you export a low res video file of that composition. But you don't do it in the conventional sense, add to render queue and then re import it. Because when you use proxies, there's a kind of an inbuilt system that allows you to automatically export re-import and link to whatever it is that you want to create the proxy for. And the proxy is just a low-res video version of the complex effect. A low-res video takes a lot less processing so you can use it and reuse it throughout your project while you're building your project. And then when you're finished you can switch off the proxy and render out all of the original compositions with all of the computation and all of that. You can leave it for however long you need to and uh, you'll, get, you'll get all of the original um, quality back. So the way that you create a proxy is you click, control click on the thing that you want to replace, create proxy, you can create a still and you'll just get like a, a, a PNG file back in that you can use. But if you want to still see the movement, you can uh, create a movie proxy. When you create a proxy, it adds it to the render queue and it applies uh, low res settings. And you can change these if you want. So it sets it to draft settings. Um, resolution half so it's going to output a low res video to replace the particle system so I'll just send this to the desktop I'll just call it foam underscore proxy save it and render it so it's going to process my particle system output it as a video file now you'll see proxy enabled over that um, view of the, comp the particle system. So if I go back to the project tab here, you'll see that the thing that I've created the proxy for now has a little square next to it. And the square is filled, or the little outline is filled with a solid square. And what that is telling me is that I've created a proxy for the foam composition which contains my particle system any instance of that foam composition is now referencing that video file that I've exported and not the original particle system. When you click that little box and you have an empty square it means that you're using the original uh, composition and not the proxy. So you can toggle between using the proxy, using the original composition. When you have it set uh, to use the proxy then the, um, the rendering time 
it's much quicker you can play this back in real time I could map this to the projector screen now and I could use it reuse it a few times in the composition and it really wouldn't tax the system at all so proxies are very important when you get into the really complex types of animations and it'll save you hours and hours and hours of rendering if you start getting used to using them as opposed to just taking all of your nesting composition and composition and composition and expecting the processor to be able to deal with that. Uh, so just remember that when you want to render it back out that you switch it back to the original so that you're not using the proxy.